The British brand had hoped to introduce its new electric sports car in 2026, but that date will be a challenge. Caterham's electric project V getting trick immersion cooled batteries. The new batteries on the electric Caterham will have an energy density of 200 WH slash kg. Few technical details about the production spec model are known. Xing Mobility's immersion cooled batteries have better heat dissipation than normal liquid cooled packs. Caterham continues to push forward with its first all electric sports car, and shortly after confirming it will use an electric motor from Yamaha, the British company has revealed it'll tap a Taiwanese supplier for an innovative immersion cooled battery pack. This battery pack will be sourced from Xing Mobility and features cells immersed in a dielectric liquid. This dramatically improves heat dissipation compared to traditional liquid-cooled battery packs. Caterham also says Xing's batteries have an energy density of 200 WH slash kg, which should give the EV plenty of range. There's no word on how large the car's battery pack will be, how much it'll weigh, or what kind of charging speeds can be expected. However, given that the Project V prototype is a compact sports car, one can't expect the pack to be huge. When first announced last year, Caterham said their new EV would use a lithium-ion battery pack with a 55 kWh capacity, enough to give it 249 miles, 400 km of range. A proclaimed energy density of 200 WH slash kg is on par with some other batteries on the market. For example, CATL's new Shinching Plus EV lithium-ion phosphate battery has an energy density of 205 WH slash kg, while Tesla's 4680 cells have an energy density of 296 WH slash kg. As mentioned, the Xing battery will provide juice to an e-axle from Yamaha. Caterham's original concept had a single motor with 268 horsepower and chances are, the production model will have roughly the same amount of power. Shoppers intrigued by the idea of an all-electric Caterham sports car may have to wait a little while before they can get behind the wheel. The brand initially hoped to launch the production model in 2026, but the firm's chief executive, Bob Lashley, recently admitted that 2026 will be a challenge. He also revealed Caterham has yet to decide where it'll build the car, although it has said it won't be manufactured at its existing Dartford plant in the UK.